All right, towards the top, like, share, subscribe to the page. If you want to donate to the Cash App, it's in the description. Also, the best way to support the channel is to share this video on any social site that you, you deem feels right for this video. So if I'm talking about hip-hop, hip-hop, politics, politics, you know, you know how it goes. Anyway, so I want to talk about something real quick about two artists that I think is uh, very, 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 very important to the culture of hip-hop. And I think that they did a lot for the culture of hip-hop as a whole, and they're still doing it to this day. And who I think is better out of the two. And I'm only speaking on this right now because one of them is dropping an album. And I think it's very important that we, we have, we draw a distinction between the two right now. And I'm talking about Nas versus Jay-Z. Now, Nas versus Jay-Z is an old, an old argument, but it's still relevant to this day because even though they pieced up their beef or their whatever you want to call it, they still seem like they're in competition, even though it's unsaid, subliminally. So, Nas. Nas, Queensbridge rapper. Jay-Z, Brooklyn rapper. Jay-Z is from Brooklyn, right? Yeah, he's from Brooklyn. Yeah, he's from Brooklyn. So here's the thing. Here's the thing about, about uh, the two. I think in the beginning, Nas was so far ahead of his time that he kind of wrapped circles around Jay and around... Uh, whoever else I just think he didn't have the uh, how would I say he had the backing but he didn't to me I, but I'll speak on why what happened in Nas as it goes on but anyway rapping wise Nas lyricism wise Nas was so ahead of his time that really people never heard anything like that I mean people compare him to Rakim I kind of do too but he was a little more magnified than Rakim I should say so Nas. Nas goes on. Jay-Z, on the other hand, had a little bit of a different start. He was more of a player, and people really didn't... I would say player, a cool-ass a cool ass nigga, I should say. And that's just a cool dude. Jay was that cool dude that he spit stuff. You know, he was he was he he had that swag with him. Even though he spit kind of fast, but he was, he was one of those dudes that people looked at like, oh, he a cool dude. They didn't really look at his lyrics, his rhymes. They just looked at him like, oh, he's a boss or that dude right there. So I would give, in the beginning, Nas the edge over Jay. Middle of their career, Jay started getting better. He slowed down his flow. He started doing things that was a little more appealing to the masses, but at the same time, still keeping it straight. Nas, on the other hand, was doing the same thing, but I think he lost a sense of direction. Now, here's the thing. As a song maker, creatively, hook maker, song maker, Nas is not good. Nas is not a good creative song maker when it comes to as a whole, not Nas as in lyrically, because you know, there's some songs that I think, but as of hooks and, and creating a song and putting a song together, I just don't think that Nas is doing it by himself. On the other hand, Jay-Z has done that. So in the middle of their career, I'm gonna give Jay the edge. I think Jay had much more diversity, much more, uh, things he did that I think kind of uh, separated him from the pack. And he tried some something more, more just more diverse. Albums is much more diverse than Nas. Okay. Today's times, we should say. 
And this is very important because uh, very, very, very important because I believe that a lot of people don't understand how, where, and why these artists got to where they're at. So today, as of today, I'm going to say, not today, but the, today's times. Okay, so today's times, and I'm going to be completely honest. I have not been impressed by Nas at all. It's actually, to me, Nas kind of sounds like, he kind of sounds like he's just enjoying himself and he's just doing music and it's not that big of a deal to him. And I think that he feels as though that he can just keep doing music because he's a legend, which is cool. That's fine. And I think that Nas maybe have a little zingers here and there to me, but there's nothing to me that actually is groundbreaking or something I can say, wow. I mean, Accident Murder was pretty dope, but outside of that, I don't see anything that Nas has done album-wise or even songs-wise, even verses-wise, that just blew me away. Even when it comes down to uh, Life is Good. Some of the songs on Life is Good was, was, was okay, but it was a good album, but it wasn't something that was like, oh man, this is crazy. And I can say the same thing for Jay, in a way. I can say the same thing about Magna Carta, Holy Grail. You know, I really didn't think the album was that great. It was okay. And I could, I could say the same thing about, uh, you know, Watch the Throne too. I mean, that was, but it was a little more diverse. Much more diverse than us. But we get to, now we get to uh, 444 album. And I think that Nas don't have anything that's better than that album recently. I don't think that Nas's album, Life Is Good, or the other album he put out after that, is better than 444. No way. Moving forward, Jay Z has dropped a project with. J Electronica. Here's why Jay Z is better than us. And here's why Jay Z is going to continue to be better than us. Jay Z has grown as a lyricist. And he is so much better than what he was now than what he was back then. And people might look at me crazy and say, You crazy. How's Jay? Jay Z as a rapper now, a lot of people can't touch him right now. He is an elite lyricist. Not saying Nas isn't. But as of right now, Nas is not an elite lyricist anymore. Jay-Z is clearly the better rapper. Clearly. There's no, there's no competition when it comes to it. Jay-Z is clearly a better rapper than Nas. And if we're going to go album, recent albums, Jay-Z recently has put out better music than Nas. So if we're going off of recently, and if we're going off the middle of the road of their career, Jay-Z wins it 2-1. Hands down. There's no, there's no way you can tell me that Nas is better than Jay-Z when it comes down to it. Jay wins 2-1. Nas wins in the beginning, but as they went on, the middle and, and towards now, Jay's better. Torture talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. You know what it is. Talk to y'all later.